All right, we got our match with our Penny Dreadful Aristocrats build. Four guys I'm trying to get League Match and <laughs> all these non Penny Dreadful, or maybe even just non League people are playing. So I actually submitted this deck into the League. Play some League with it. Uh, sure, I'll keep. Just because, mostly because I have my colors. And I have a bunch of two drops so I can, like, Play this on the three if I have to. Another advantage of being in black white is you have some of the few uh, dual lands that actually gain you life, which is randomly relevant. Sky Shroud Elite. Oh no, it's a two three. <laughs> That's it. That's pretty good. I guess my opponent's on some sort of a aggressive green build. Well, there's two parts of the combo. I just need a sack outlet now. I just gotta play out the Vizier. I don't know if they have any way of really killing creatures other than like maybe like fight stuff like prey upon. Alright, I'll just return. We draw. Very good card in general. Green is really good, like cheap cantrip creatures. The thing is that, like, well, tiny acolytes also legal. Well, the acolytes way worse because of Echo. Like nothing happened. Act normal. That's why like red cap nightmare is also kind of a funny combo. Now like I can constantly get back creatures with the uh, red cap. So I'm gonna block. I'm definitely blocking this. Turn. So if I don't have a fourth drop, I'll just play the red cap. Fail off. Okay. I actually block. No, I have to block something now. Like attacks the visionary too. I just trade with the visionary. Or I was saying I could, or I could block this and then kill this next turn. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Block this, save a damage, and then kill the visionary with the red cap trigger. So <laughs> now the vizier is getting much much better. <laughs> Because now I have a flesh bag. Next turn I can just like play the flesh bag, sack the red cap, and then just start killing things. That'd be funny. So this is so funny because like I get to block this two three, and then it comes back, and I get to kill two three again, and still have a two two. Bove and Ilya, sure. Really good if they have trample. Another elite, sure. I do have an infinite blocker now, which is pretty great. I'm gonna block the elite just so I can kill it. I'm gonna take four though, but so persist trigger is gonna happen, and I'm not gonna get any counters on it. Really good. So if I just draw a vampire, and it keeps over. This is what the this is how powerful the deck is. Like this just happens. <laughs> this thing just kind of happens. So this is the cool part. I get a free attack. I'm gonna get like a super free attack here. <laughs> you can't block, really. And then I get to play the flesh bag. <laughs> and then nothing happens! <laughs> like, they get a creature, I'd sack my red cap. I get to eat a creature, and then I get to deal another two. Oh my goodness. And now I have another guy in blocks. Now it's like... <laughs> this is silly. <laughs> so my opponent has a way to like give the Bailoff Trample. It's pretty good because the Death Touch Trample uh, ability is very strong. It's one of the few ways for green to really get through. 
Oh, he's still gonna attack, which, why not? I don't think attack is really good. I just get the... They have a trample effect. He puts a counter on that. That doesn't really do anything. Trigger will happen. Deal to my opponent. Nowhere else to go, really. Okay, well. Do my attack first. I could have also attacked with a flesh bag. I I think I'm just like slowly killing my opponent. I think it's just way better. So I'll get back the carrier thrall. The unfortunate part about this is that the carrier thrall there's nothing left to get now with the recurring nightmare, but I am slowly nugging my opponent out. Now they attack. One, I get to block again. Two, I'm going to block with a flesh bag. And you know what's going to happen there. <laughs> wow. See, this is how powerful the Vizier red cap combo is. It's silly. <laughs> it's silly if you can't uh, deal with it. Um. Well, Death Mark seems good. Death Mark seems really good. Being the green deck that they are. And I'm going to read some seals. I mean, they played with the... Um, I assume something like Crown Seal is going to happen. Oh, Nylea, Witch Main Orb, all those sort of things. I'm not really sure what could happen. What am I going to cut? Ultra oh, seems really good. Or we might be a bit too slow or techy for this kind of deck, for this uh, matchup. I really should upgrade my removal spells. I really want to keep all my creatures, actually. Um, the one card that might actually be lacking is probably Recurring Nightmare. It is a bit slow, and it probably is going to be a target for it. Like, um, I'll probably just play their own claws or something. I could definitely trim on that. I think one's not bad, though. I think I cut one of each of the Nightmare and the Harvest Specs, just to kind of spread out the damage a little bit. And, um, yeah, that's it. Dutch Grace Demon could be really good, too. Green has a hard way of dealing with flyers. I'm not really sure where I would cut for that, so we'll just... As is. Demon also blocks very well. Yeah, Vizier Redcap is so silly. <laughs> and I even have, like, the infinite combo. I just... Kept attacking for two. Uh, risky, but I'll keep. I do have many chances to draw a white source. I also have a removal spell in my hand. Worst comes worse. Two removal spells. Brown seal. Yep. Saw that coming. Luckily, it doesn't really have to anything to do with the red cap. It doesn't actually deal with the red cap at all. I have a lot of removal in my hand. <laughs> hey, sure. Not really something I want to point one of my removal spells at, or the Marauder at that, that point. <laughs> wow. I have to point something at it eventually. I just like play the red cap on it. Great stable stag. Okay, so now I kind of have to set up a turn where um, I have to use a marauder to kill this. So I think what I have to do is ultimate price is visioning. Sad as that seems, but it's okay. I have death mark and stuff like that because the marauder needs to have that. This needs to kind of. Job here. Table stack usually good against the black decks, but I mean, I have enough edicts where it's not gonna be as relevant. I 
The best card that like my opponent can have is some sort of like go light effect. I am hold priest. Uh, I'm gonna just play the red cap now. I'm just kind of like I'm gonna get a body on the field. I can deal with the uh, pacifist later. It's gonna let it transform, I guess. I think it's his best line. Was it on the flip side? Is this a 4 4? Yeah, it's just a vanilla 4 4. Um, I guess it's Death Market. <laughs> That's good enough. Boonsader flashed. Okay, interesting. I can ultimate prices, but I think I can just like block. I'm gonna ultimate that thing instead. Um let's hope they don't have like a Ranger's Guile. That'd be a big blowout. I wanna kill this. Nice, nice. Oh, there's the planes. Well, it's time for infinite blocks. Or actually, even better. <laughs> I get to play the Vizier, and then I get to attack. And then I get to play the Marauder. <laughs> I didn't actually think of this kind of combo <laughs> when I was building the deck, and but I'm really thinking how good it is. <laughs> So Ground Seal has nothing to do with Persist. It really doesn't like trigger anything. Fact, actually, Ground Seal actually kind of helps me. Helps because like opposing claws. <laughs> my opponent just concedes. It's maybe my opponent just has no removal in their deck, but yeah, it was, it's a this is a wacky combo. It's just, I was just. That was wacky how good that was.